giant Dyson vac, wasn't it? Just being whizzed about. Massive load of air. Can't breathe. It's that sort of thing, like, sticking your head out of a sunroof. you sort of like... Uh, it's, like it's that sort of thing. You can't, you try to catch your breath a bit. Uh, that took a bit of getting used to. And then, yeah, you're just floating about, up and down. You, you know, you're, you're sort of in the hands of the fella behind the glass. Sort of like the... Um, you don't say gypsy anymore, do you? But on the waltzers, where it's like, you know... It's, Scream if you want to go faster thing. He was sat behind there, whacking up, you know, burning energy. What a waste of energy it is, really, isn't it? What an absolute waste of power. When you think of all the times you're told to turn your standby light off and all that lot, and that, there's that, a massive air dryer blasting a 14 stone, six foot fella about. It's the world we live in. If you stuck washing right at the top, you'd go, fair play, it's kind of like people are having fun and the washing's getting dried. There's none of that, it's just, just pure power, just from the bottom, from the vent, out through the roof at the top. I felt bad for Martha in there. I thought it was pretty bad of you, sort of, making her go in there, to be honest. I didn't make her go well, in there. Well, yeah, yeah. You shoved her in there, just bobbing about while she was in the tumble dryer. You know, there, keep her in. Keep spinning, spinner. I didn't oh, say that. that. No. I just think, you know, it's been through a lot for a 91-year-old. Jason's idea is about spreading happiness, but I also think you've got to get the balance right and people have to know how to handle disappointment in life, because there's probably more disappointment in life than happiness. So what I've done there is it'll build them up when they see the castle, because he'll tweet a picture of the castle and say, this is what you're looking out for. It's got $60 or $40 in it. They'll run to it, they'll dig, and they'll be now there. And then they'll be disappointed, and I think um, that's good. People are disappointed all the time. They don't need more disappointment. They're not that disappointed. They're spending, you know, a Sunday on a lovely beach in nice weather with a sea there. If that isn't enough for them, then they've got to start looking at themselves. They are lucky. The people on here are lucky, and I think that's the little thing that's annoying me with this. Look at her there. That, that bikini is not cheap. It's a dear thing. So she does not need $40 or $60. In a way, I'm more excited about seeing the person who looks disappointed. Which is bad, isn't it? I don't know what that says about me. People need, need to experience that. Even little kids. If a little kid's come with a dad and the daddy goes, there you go, son, go and have a look. If he starts crying, you know, life's full of that. The earlier kids learn disappointment in life, the better it is. They're not always going to get their own way in life, so that's the message in the empty one. It's not tight, is it? You've got kids. You've got to teach them values in life, haven't you? And disappointment, you don't always get what you want. I think it's all right, cos the kid's having a good day out anyway. He'll soon get over it. If he starts crying, the mum or the dad will probably buy him an ice cream to shut him up. They'll get something. Look, she's going to kick it. What a little shit. Go and have a word with the mum. I'm not making any more. Her mum's just didn't say anything, you shouldn't do that. She doesn't know if a lad's built that and then gone to play in the sea to get some more sand to carry on building it. She's just... They get away with fucking murder. The first thing I want to talk about is stance. You always want to make sure that you keep yourself at a good distance and you know what you're dealing with, all right? So come up and lunge at me. Come, lunge at me. 
Lunge at me. Yeah, but I'm calm. Uh, I'll show you the meaning of why we have our hands up. Lunge at me. You're a drunk. I'm drunk. I'm talking to you. You want directions. Hey, I'm keeping you at this distance. Excuse me, mate. You, you come can't up and tell me where me. Third Avenue. I can. I have my hands up, ready to block. And now I'm in a different mode now. But isn't that going to piss him off more? I have a right to protect myself. Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah. Now, come up on me. I'm going to draw the line, and you're going to keep on trying to get in my face. Come up on me. All right, mate. You don't hey, know hey, where... Hey, back on. No, listen, what's hey, the problem? Hey, I'm hey, just asking up. you... Listen, I just want to know where the... Fucking hell, what's wrong? I'm just... I wanted to get a pizza. OK, you calm down. Right, you have calm right. down, yeah? I'm shitting it here, really. What, what, am, I, what am I doing here? Boom. I'm not a warrior at the end of the day. Right. There yeah. you go. Yeah. I'm more of a warrior than a warrior. And he's getting aggressive all up on you. Back off. And now he's coming up. Hey, I'm going to kill what's you. What's your problem? Yeah, but isn't it good to, to stand up against evil for a change? Try and make a difference. I don't do much for, uh, for other people if they're in danger. Get back, get back. That's going on outside your house. You close the curtains yeah. at night. Yeah and you just see some people pushing each other, would you jump out there and go, back off? Or would you just go, turn the telly up? Turn the telly up, pretend I didn't see that. Oh, no, don't get involved. That's why I made our lounge in the back of the house, because then shit can be going on and I don't know about it. Just lock the door. Why am I getting involved? When I was younger, now and again, you got into a bit of a scrap. No one's ever hit me like that, right into the nose like that. It was more dead arms. Dead arms, you do that and you try and take them out by giving them a dead arm. There's a lad at school called he, he, he used to hit the, your, your arm with that. And you'd sort of be taken out and your arms would go weak. And then he could just go, you know, push you about and all that, push you into the tennis fence. You'd be bouncing off it and bouncing back into him. And then when you came back, bang, like that with his knuckle again. Proper hard. Don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him for years. OK, pretend that you guys are arguing over money and punching each other. Is he punching or just sort of shoving? Uh, go ahead and start with the punching. Uh, and I go, hey, 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 stop, stop. And then I'd have to go in from here, either underneath, like here. But I'm kicking him in the bollocks. Him back, or... And I'm, I'm going like that. You look like you're getting into it there. I saw you kicking that guy in the nuts. I can get into it on that. Look at him. I don't know, fucking arms. What threat is that? <laughs>